Hello everyone. So today we are going to see how to insert date in the MySQL database using Spring Data JP. So here I will go. So now what I will do? We will create one new project. Here I am using STS. So create a Spring Starter project. And here I will give Spring Boot Data JP data date as a project name uh, let me take here a data jp date click on next here we have to add the dependency here i am using lombok if you don't have you can generate get resetter manually lombok then spring web and in order to connect to the mysql database we have to give the mysql driver uh, these are the pretty much then click on next click on finish it will take some time to create our project so the project is getting created now what you have to do is we have to first create the uh, packages so what i will do is create a packages first of all i will create entity package next in order to save the date uh, the data we have to we will require a repo package and at the end we will uh, create a package called controller okay. first thing is we have to create an entity so I will create an entity we will take here entity name as the employee next uh, we have to give the fields so what I will do here is I will take uh, three fields first one is ID then name and date so let's take it private integer id private string employee name then private uh, date date of birth control shift for t unit date so uh, we have to take here add the right entity to map with the table ENT at UI. What happened? Which dependencies we have added? Let me see. Spring Boot Starter J. Oh, I forgot to add the Spring Data JP. That's why entity is not coming. So let me go here. Right click on this. So go to the uh, Spring then here we'll get add starters so uh, if you forgot to add any dependency in the project in the sts you can follow these uh, steps so i will choose here a spring data jp click on next and uh, here what you have to do next is we have to click on form.xml and click on finish so it will be added this dependency now what i will do is add that entity annotation it's taking some time mm. control shift o for importing yeah it's imported jakarta dot persistence dot, uh, dot entity now I want to take this ID as a primary key so add the right ID annotation from Jakarta persistence then I want this to auto generated so generated value so strategy as I am using a MySQL I have to give here as the identity so I have already added the uh, Lombok API so add that data to create a get trans setter method add that all as constructor to create a constructor with all arguments and that no auth constructor to create a constructor with no arguments right next thing we have to create a repository so go to the new go to the interface here i will create employee repo right then which is implementing uh, extends jp repository right 
here we have to give entity name and primary key whatever the primary key is there it's data type let's save this last thing is write a here controller create a class employee controller annotate it with the at the rate rest controller create one method to save the employee public uh, its return type should be employee save emp and uh, here i will give at the rate post mapping as we are saving the data slash save here control shift o for importing employee then here i have to give at the rate request body employee as we will be passing json data of employee emp control shift o import then uh, in order to save i will require here a repository so here i will give private employee repo repo at the rate auto wired control shift o import here we have to return repo dot save and entity this object em now if i run this application no first of all uh, we forgot to give the data source properties for the uh, mysql so spring dot data source dot url equals to jdbc colon mysql colon double slash localhost colon 3306 that is the port number of your mysql schema name that is i already created one schema in the mysql that i am giving here you can see schema name new i go back here jdbc colon mysql one localhost 33006 is the port number new is the schema name right now next Control Alt down, down, down. Here yeah, I will give username. And uh, what is the username of your uh, MySQL? Mine is root. And also the password we have to give here. So here password I will give. Oh, what happened? P A W S. What? Yeah. And. Uh, here I will give spring dot jp dot hibernate spring dot jp hibernate ddl auto as a update that means if the table is already present modify it according to the entity if it is not present then create a new table so here table will be created with the employee with the e capital no with the e small right click on this application run as then uh, spring boot application it will take some time to run our application here we go our application is running oh what happened let me see unable to determine dialect Oh, JDBC URL. Mm, what happened here? Error creating duty in the name entity manager factory defined in the class path. Let me check whatever the dependency we have added. 17 uh, web MySQL connector J Lombok Spring Data JPA it's right then in the application dot property string data jdbc colon mysql colon double local syllable slash localhost colon 3306 new root uh, this is okay and the employee controller what you can yes this is right employee repository it's also right and here also right let me refresh this what happened here mm. let me 
rerun this application run as a spring boot application it should work now I'm unable to determine dialect okay so here I made a mistake in the URL local host now let me retry right click run as come your spring boot application now it should run yeah it is running now it's time to test run successful let's test this so here i am using postman here i am so here i give name as sam and date as this if i click on send so let's see response response in the response you can see that uh, date of birth is coming as null so if i go to the mysql database and if i refresh here and uh, if i go here in the employee you can see that uh, here two date of birth is null so what we can do here is why there are three columns four columns why here created four columns columns oh it's created i think the table was already present let me delete drop this table drop now i will rerun this application it should create only one column with the date right click run as input application yes it's fine now if i refresh employees there yeah now you can see three columns now if i go and send you can see here we'll get a date as a null yeah run null so if i refresh here so date is coming as null so how can we solve this problem so in order to solve this problem what you have to do is we have to take a date in the local date format and we have to use here a json format annotation so at that json format is a jackson annotation that allows us to configure how values of properties are serialized and deserialized so for example we can specify how to format date values according to simple date format so we have to format the date value in this pattern that is yymmdd so let me go to the spring boot application so how can we solve this problem of date if i stop this here we have to give local date control shift o let's save and we have to use this jackson annotation that is json for let me copy this mm, go here and the right oh paste here and the json format and whatever pattern you want to give you can give according to your preference 
you can see that Jackson annotation it is coming from now if I go here uh, right click let me drop the first this table right click and drop table drop now it's drop right click run as uh, spring boot application it's running go to the postman now if i click on save uh, it's coming null let me maybe what happened think what we miss here enter json it's right local date oh i have taken here a time we have to take here a util so what happened so why it is coming null because i made here a mistake uh, here i taken dob but here i am giving as a date so let me take dob uh, and click on send and now oh i stop application right click run as spring boot app Now, if I try to send, yeah, here you can see it is coming as date of birth. So, that was a mistake I tried uh, this much time without seeing this DOB. At the DOB, I have taken date. So, uh, what how to save, how we can save the data date into database we have to take a, a data type as local date and we have to use at the rate json format so the code of this application will be given in the description from there you can see and practice this so if you like this video you can hit like button and subscribe to our channel